The point in time count starts early around 4 a.m. There are multiple teams spread out across the county working all day for multiple days to get an accurate count of the unsheltered population. Homeless outreach, Volunteers of America. Anybody home? Volunteers scour all different areas an unsheltered person may be living. It's going to their camps, uh, tents, uh, wherever they're at. Sean Spaulding is a county care coordinator with Volunteers of America. He says this count lets them know the scope of programming or funding they need. And after the pandemic, needs have grown. A lot of people that didn't think they were going to be homeless are now homeless. Volunteers collect data from everyone they meet. So last night, where did you sleep? Connecting them with resources and learning their history. These last three years have been something else. But uh, what doesn't uh, get us makes us stronger. Travis Ressler says he and his dog, Roscoe, are new to being homeless. He says it has been brutal. I'm usually warm and good to go. And uh, this last month, I got like frostbite on my foot. Another nice layer to have. The volunteers give out tents, gloves, food or blankets, anything to help. It's little things on the street, obviously, that, that matter most. Bressler says being homeless is humbling. Those little things seem grand, but it's the littlest thing, empathy, that's been hard to find. I always look at somebody and go, I wonder where they went wonder what they went through. So it's a hand warmers. Volunteers hope that the compassion and resources they provide, along with the data they collect for policymakers, can make a difference for everyone living without a home. Reporting for Ion Utah, Kelly Vaughn, KUTV 2 News.